Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me to the end of the week webinar. Well, it has been a very interesting week in terms of the US dollar as it sells off, briefly recovers and then overnight lacks momentum to continue. And this, this in turn has actually pushed the Aussie back above the 80 cent mark after tumbling from the rejection of 80.15 from a higher 22. So from the overnight session, the market is looking slightly on the bid tone, but I believe that above 80 cents is still looking to put or place a bull trap. Now, a bull trap is when the indicator is actually not supporting the rise. And you can see here from these two points, there is bearish divergence. So therefore, I do expect to see the market eventually turn away from this level and look back to the downside, which support comes in at 79.30.40. Yesterday, it was interesting to see that the latest labour market data that was released was better than expected, with 34,700 jobs added in December, which was more than twice the market expectation. However, the unemployment rate rose from 5.4 to 5.5, as more people look for work. 19,500 part-time jobs were added, while full-time employment jumped by 15,100. This was, by means, the 15th conservative month of job gains. With more jobs being advertised in Australia, there is chance unemployment may fall in 2018, which could heighten the prospects of a rate hike very soon from the RBA. So stay tuned there and see how the update goes in the next coming week or two. Well, the euro dollar, since it surged to the upside and failed and posted a bearish outside range day, we still wait for confirmation. And at the point, this point in time, I'm still looking to see the level of 121.60.65 to be taken out. Now, it, it was challenged yesterday, and it did actually stage a recovery from 64. But nevertheless, you can see here, I've added here that there is the bearish divergence from the rise in price with the indicator. The second rise failed to confirm, and then we got an outside range day. Before that, we had a long-legged doji, so there is enough evidence here to support a bearish case. It's just a matter of time and the confirmation to support this view. On the day, I do expect to see a challenge to walls of support, which comes in minor at 122.05 and then 121.60.65, and with resistance holding around 122.65. Well, the dollar yen, as we all know, yesterday did post a bullish outside range day and still needs confirmation to support this positive signal to continue on and challenge the level of 111.80.85. From a technical point, the MACD, as well as the uh, stochastic, is supporting this view to further climb, but we do need to see further strength from the US dollar. Now, overnight, the, the uh, dollar index did decline, but not as low as previously. The previous low was at 89.94, and this low was at 90.18. Support on the day for dollar yen comes in at 110.65 and 110.30 beneath. On the pound, since the blow off top, we still need confirmation and the market is looking a little tad bullish. But look at the RSI, it is really on the terms of overbought. It is hard to get bullish at these levels, therefore, I'd rather either sit on the sideline or look for opportunities to sell the market. Resistance is seen at 139.15 as minor and then 139.55. We haven't taken out the, the top from the previous blow off, so this is still valid and therefore could see a pullback towards the support. Minor at 138.50 and then 138.10 to 137.25. The gold still holding to a bearish sentiment, even though it's still holding at the moment at 1,324. Nevertheless, I still expect to see weakness to come through and could see a target at this present time of around 1,312. You can see by the technical point, it is breaking down, so it does support the case. So therefore, we should see a move towards this region. But the broader picture is bullish, and I do expect to see somewhere in middle of 2018 a rise up towards 45 to a high of 1,375. And to round off with oil, well, the market is actually breaking down slightly. As you can see here from this uptrend, the technical implications also bearish. Therefore, I do expect to see further weakness with the minor support seen at 63.10 and the target at this stage coming in at 62.60.65 with the resistance seen at 
40.45. So that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a great start to the new weekend.